All right, Andy, so here's the deal. On the right, starting out today, again, the good news is, like we talked about, man, you're scruffing off a lot fewer of them. The real horrendous shots are going away. Uh, you know, in that sense, you get more consistent. But like you're saying, you still have those shots where it kind of goes way right or way left, like I was seeing here, and you're hitting a lot of straight shots. And I'm saying part of that inconsistency is when you're up at the top there, you kind of stop and then rush down real hard there, and that's causing you to hit some of the wilder shots. And you see that affects your balance where you're falling backward a little more than we'd really like. And then over here, looks a lot more calm. You know, and you see how your balance is better, your feet aren't going around so crazy. And that's what you did earlier today, too. Like that. Much smoother. And see, the elapsed time, remember, we, we counted it. The elapsed time was the same on both. Let me find out. Yeah, so that was that one. Oh, where'd that one go that we did? Yeah, it's right there. So the elapsed time was the same on both. But remember, you rushed it up on the old gold one on the right versus the new blue one here on the left, where you kind of got to the top real fast on the old gold. Right there, you see you're way ahead of it. And then you stayed up there, got stopped, and then rushed it down real fast from the top. And again, you don't see see how much better your bounce is. Your sh weight shift is better over here on the left. You're on top of your left foot. Instead of being on top of the circle on the old gold, you're in front of the circle like we want on top of your left foot on the new blue there. Much better balance. And you see how the club head wants to swing. See at the end there, there's that little recoil, that little recock, because the club head wants to swing there, man, and I want you to kind of swing that club head more like that instead of being kind of stiff with it. And again, you felt it one or two lessons ago real nicely. So I'm just wanting to remind you that and, and try to internalize that as much as you can and, and uh, you know, hit balls with it there in the backyard and at the range and just feel that kind of even keeled pace instead of the rush to the top and then the rush down. All right. And if you're on a metronome, if it's like we're seeing here for you, when you get back to impact, it's at 1.6 seconds. If you ever happen to get a metronome, that would put you at about 37 beats per minute. That's what it'd be. That's what it'd be for you. 37 beats per minute. Okay? okay. So I'll put that on there. I'll write that on there for you. So if you you don't have a metronome at home, do you? No. They sell it at music stores. Get the like the simplest one. 37 beats per minute. That's what that sounds like. Stands for. They have real fancy ones, but you can get a simple one for like 20, 30, 40 bucks at Mars Music or something like that. And you could practice that in the backyard. Start right on the beat and then hit make impact right at the beat. Watch this. Yeah, that was right on. That was right on it.
And that was it. Yeah, I'll try to get it. Yeah. So that can help you with the pace thing. All right. And again, something you have to kind of just find on your own. Like I said, these are the best ways I know to kind of describe it to you and let you.